I see my mods. Yo, I want to give a quick shout out just starting this off. We got Abby, we got Trev, we got three flying monkeys in the house. I'm pretty sure JB and Shane might show up. We might get Spades Reaper. We might get the cat and we might get country. I love you guys. Thank you for keeping this a dope ass community and keeping them trolls and lames up out of here so they're not spamming the chat. If y'all could do me a favor, man, uh, if you if you like hanging out, if you like these things, um, if you if you enjoy live streaming and hanging out and asking questions, please just slam that like button, bro. Smash it like a chomo, as Trev would say. Um, I've missed you guys, man. It's been since Sunday. I just wanted to jump in here. I didn't have like a whole bunch of stuff ready to present or anything. I just wanted to hang out with you guys. I wanted to know what you guys want to know. I wanted to kick it, answer some questions, ask you guys a couple questions. Um, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I see you, Shelby Parks. I love you, sister. It's so good to see you up in here, man. Um, we've had, you know, just a, a cool couple days, man. Just been hanging out. Um, a lot of you guys know that I had like 1.1 million over on the clock app, that old TikTok. Yo, that, that whole thing got uh, banned because I talked too much stuff about Merck and Chomos. Uh, and I just got it back a couple days ago, which is kind of cool because I had a lot of connections. There's a lot of people that I want to interview for over here. And my only way of getting a hold of them is we are mutuals over there. You know what I'm saying? So I see that JB has joined us. Big love and respect to you, homie. Um, I want to get some questions with you guys. Um, I did see uh, that Kenneth Shadrick just ordered a shirt today from Convict Clothing. Hey, thank you, homeboy. Big love and respect. Hella appreciate that, man. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, <coughs> excuse me, I have a clothing brand called Convict Clothing. Everything's available at convictclothing.net. That's where my merch is. Um, so I really appreciate anybody who supports, man. We got some uh, We got some good stuff over there. If you don't like Chomo, you're going to like some of that stuff. What we're doing right now, we're clearing our inventory of everything that we have because we're going to move in. Like this was never meant to be like a, we permanently sell this or that type of design. We're, we're going to do limited orders. And once they're gone, you're going to have limited edition stuff and no one's ever going to be able to buy that again. So instead of like, you know, having 10,000 people that have the same thing as you, we're trying to make about a thousand of each thing. And once it's gone, it's gone. And um, we've got some great ideas coming up for what our next runs are gonna be. And once those are gone, they'll be gone too. So I don't want everybody going, oh man, I have this same hat or shirt as everybody else. Cause I always hate that, bro. I always hate that. You know what I'm saying? You out there walking around and it's like, oh cool. Uh, uh, three of us are wearing the same shirt. I don't want that. So we're gonna keep everything limited running and keep it going, man. Um, I did want to ask you guys a question. Oh, hold up one second. We got one of my homies in here, just Lancer. Oh, I should have known it was you, homie. What's good, bro? Um, hope you're doing well, bro. I'm not doing so great, but happy to see you, brother. What's going on, Lancer? Let's talk about it, homie. You know what it is, family. You know that if you're not doing good, we're going to try to support you. We're going to try to throw love on you. We're going to try to see if we can figure anything out for you, bro. We love you big much, dog. Um, honestly... Uh, I, I have a head cold right now, right? So like if it feels like there's water in my ear and my sinuses, like I don't know if y'all can tell that I'm a little bit nasally, but um, that's because I got a head cold right now. Um, so it makes me a little bit slower than I normally am, which is already a little bit slower than most people anyway. Um, so, you know, it is, uh, it's kind of a problem. Everything is ringing in this ear too, but I wanted to hang out with you guys. So... Um, I'm going to take some questions. The question that I had for y'all, man, is, uh, so look, uh, we watch a lot of TV late at night. You know what I'm saying? Like I work all day. Jax works, does her stuff all day. And then at night we just watch TV. So I wanted to know if y'all got any good suggestions. Cause, uh, you know, we're running out of stuff to watch. Uh, we got Netflix, Apple TV, Amazon, and, um, uh, yeah, I think we have Hulu or something. I don't know. I think it was part of Jax's Spotify. Not quite sure. Hey, Laura Lowe, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Hell yeah, sis. Some kid in my school, <laughs> a special needs kid when he was 19 and the kid was a minor. He isn't in trial right now, but like, what do you think is going to happen to him considering who he did it to? Well, I... He isn't in trial, so like, is he, did they press charges? If he goes to prison 
for doing the terrible things to a disabled kid, dude, that's, that's game over. That is game over. They're going to put something in them. They're going to smash them with some stuff. Uh, they, I mean, they're probably going to put doo-doo in his food. They're going to do all sorts of bad stuff to that dude. That dude is cooked. Cooked. Sean Blue, I see you, dog. What's up, man? Mrs. Nolan Void, what's up? How you doing, sister? Um, let's see. Shane said, Shane Mueller said Spartac uh, Spartacus on Tubi. Thank you. Uh, Sinful Chip said Disney Plus is pretty good. I need to get my Disney Plus back because I need to see the new Loki season, bro. Gotta see the new Loki season. Um, Lord of the Rings. Harley, I have seen everything ever in Lord of the Rings. Everything. I read those books. Those were some of the first books I read. I read The Hobbit, then I read The Lord of the Rings. I've seen all the movies. I've seen the show, The Ring of Power. Yo, I'm about that stuff, bro. Tolkien was a G. Tamra! What's up? Uh, Blacklist, Sneaky Pete. I haven't seen Sneaky Pete. Uh... House MD are some of my favorite shows. I used to watch House back in the day. House is a gangster, bro. Uh, Blacklist, I haven't seen. Sneaky Pete, I haven't seen. Thank you so much for your suggestions. I appreciate you. Um, do you listen to Little Peep? WTLS. <sighs> bro, I'm old school, Peep, bro. I used to have Peep lyrics tattooed across my neck. It used to say, baby, we can glow across my neck. But it wasn't legible. You couldn't read it. So I got this really dark wolf tattoo across there instead. Lancer says my bipolar is acting up and I keep thinking about dead relatives and what's the point of being around, but I'll get over it. Well, thanks, bro. Hey, man, sometimes we have the mental struggles. We have the ups and downs, bro. I 100% relate to the missing, uh, missing those that aren't with us anymore. I love you. Just throwing love at you, bro. I 100% get it. Um, let's see. The Boys, oh my God. So if you guys like The Boys, have you seen Generation V? Jax calls it Lil Boys uh, because it's like the, the newer generation of The Boys. Like, ugh, dude, it is the best spinoff and I'm dying for the next season. Dying. Um, let's see. Thank you, Turbo Foxbird, for that suggestion. Um, let's see. Three Flying Monkeys, big love to you and Jax, my brother. Loki is fire. Yo, thank you so much. We love you. And you've seen the new Loki. It's good. Because I'm about it, bro. I'm about it. Like, I'm about anything. Well, I was about anything Marvel. Then they started coming out with some different type of Marvel that's like, it seems like it's geared at like little, little kids. And I'm like, ah, yo, is the new Rick and Morty season good? I just saw somebody pop that up. I haven't seen the new season. I loved the earlier Rick and Mortys. Uh, Austin Esslinger, Four Dying, Trying on Apple is good. It's about JFK, Malcolm X, MLK, and RFK Sr. Yo, I want to see that. Austin, thank you so much, bro. That is an amazing suggestion. Bro, Apple TV just constantly pops good stuff out, man. They constantly pop good stuff out. Um, from Inside Out News, are you getting my messages, JD? I'm not. Where are you sending messages to, homie? I don't know where you're sending messages to. I, I haven't seen any messages from you. Um, Mrs. Nolan Void says hell on wheels. Yo, I've, that's been on my list and I keep forgetting about it. Black Mirror. I haven't seen it. People have been telling me monarchy legacy of Mo monarch legacy of monsters really need to see that Shane. Thank you so much. Jay Shipes. Thank you for suggesting Black Mirror. Uh, Jack Kramer. Uh, much respect JD. What's up from Flint, Michigan. Hey, what's up my dude? How you doing out there in Flint, man? It seems like it would be cold as hell there. I hope you stay warm, dog. Big love and respect to you, family. Hell yeah. Um, Alizar Beckel. Alizar Bekeel? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. Can you describe your fight style to someone? Respect. Um, so, like, I have a really boxing type of fight style, but I really learned, like, one of my favorite things is I like to incorporate a lot of elbows, bro. Because, like, you're going to be able to, if you connect with a good elbow, you will split someone wide open, bro. So elbows have always been one of my favorite moves. People also aren't looking for them a lot, but, like, really boxy type style. And then if I connect a good one and I see that in and I'm close enough, I'm going a, I'm to a catch them, bro. I'm going to catch them. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. Finnebar Gallagher, what's up, man? Uh, if you can find it anywhere in America, honestly, probably unlikely. Probably, dog, probably. 
I recommend the Underbelly series. Dramatized versions of Australian crim criminals. Each season is set in a different time period. And, yo, homie, that is, like, right up my alley. That's right what I would like to see. And I love stuff about Australia, bro. I really do. I'm mad that they won't let me come over there. Uh, I'm going to look for that. So it's called Underbelly. I'm going to be checking that out, homie. Thank you so much for your suggestion. I appreciate you, brother. Um... Lucas Henry says, JD, there's a show coming out about WW2 Airmen. It's supposed to be uh, another band of brothers. Yo, that would be lit, bro. That would be so sick. Laura Lowe, how do wife beaters and children beaters get treated in prison? So look, here's the thing that I have to say about this. Um, and it's going to be, uh, so look, I got to be gentle and delicate about this. There's different, different, uh, different gangs, different cultures have different politics. In prison, white people police white people. White people don't like that shit. White people are not good with it. There are other cultures that don't respect women quite as much as a whole. So it's not as frowned upon. If you were a woman beater, you weren't sitting at our table. You know what I'm saying? Me and my boys, us Irish, you weren't sitting at our table if you were beating up women or kids, especially kids. But like, a lot of people let the woman beating things slide, but it, it's, it just it kind of depends on where you're at and what the, what the politics of the prison are at. Like, you know, max security, if you go to a max security and, and you've got a domestic violence on your stuff and you're white, you're probably getting beat the, up, like a lot, like a lot. Um, let's see, kill a stuck, kill a... Killer Sitaros 99 Hey, I love you, fam. And I like your name. Sorry it took me a second. I stu stu stuttered on it. Uh, yo, JD, I love your content, man. I've been sober for one and a half weeks from Xanax and Value. Hell yeah, brother. Congratulations. Big ups. Big ups, man. That is beautiful. Uh, Dark Ray Vermillion. Hey, JD, hope you're having a good day. Hope this isn't off topic or weird. Nothing's off topic or weird, bro. This is us. We family, bro. It's all good. Um, but what exercises in prison would you do if you couldn't leave your cell? So look, same thing that you do in county because in county, you're like, they don't have weights or anything. Um, you know, for shoulders, I would do a lot of handstand push-ups and anywhere that I could get dips, I'll be putting them dips in for chest. Um, you know, it's, it's just a lot of... Uh, it's a whole lot of push-ups for chest. Usually I'd have my celly either put a foot on my back and give me extra resistance for weight or sit on my back. Um, for legs, I would get somebody to sit on my shoulders and do dips. Um, you know, you just got to use whatever you can to get that weight in there. Rooster stare it. Thank you so much. Big love to you, brother. Hell yeah. Um, Austin. Austin Esslinger. Another good one is Frankenstein Chronicles. Or the Pacific, it's like a World War II Pacific theater version of Band of Brothers. Yo, is the Frankenstein Chronicles, is that the one that was done off of the Dean Koontz books? I read those in prison and they were fire, bro. They were fire, 100%. Thank you so much for the dope-ass uh, suggestions there, man. Uh, Alizar Bakil, you the man, your vids are good. Uh, vibes, uh, do you kick it in fights? Do I kick in fights? Um, I don't do a whole lot of kicks and fights, to be honest with you, man. Because I always trained classically, um, I trained classically in boxing, you know what I'm saying? Now, if I see an in, if I get a dude by the back of the head, if he starts to lean forward, I can get him in and get a knee to him. I love knees, bro. I love knees. Or if somebody's just far away in their days, and I think I can get a good foot, but it's not something that I'm, like, really going for, you know what I'm saying? I'm really stand-up type of game for the most part. Uh... Kinemod, what's up, homie? Thank you. Um, are you a Spider-Man fan? And if so, what are your thoughts on the black suit story, given it's a metaphor for addiction? P.S. My uncle watches your shorts and is a big fan. Yo, big love and respect to you. Big love and respect to Unk, man. Tell him I send my love. Um, so I didn't know anything about the metaphor for the black suit. This is the first that I'm hearing about it. Um, that's kind of new to me, so... Uh, I would have to look into that. I've always been kind of like a side Spider-Man fan. There's other characters that I, I really like a lot more besides Spider-Man. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I, I have always 
I've, I've always kind of had a place in my heart for Spider-Man, but I've never been like super engaged with what he's got going on. But now that I heard that, I'm absolutely going to be looking into it. And thank you for bringing that to my attention. I love you. Yo, Hunter! Hunter Futural, thank you so much, dog. That's big. I appreciate you, homie. Hey, JD, this is my first time catching a live. It's awesome to see that you're such an amazing person. I'm just a dude, bro. I'm just a dude. I love you. I'm not, I should just shut up and say thank you and take a compliment. I'm really bad with compliments, homie. But thank you so much, bro. Uh, I was just curious if you had any advice from someone kind of separating himself from family through the holidays. Hypothetically, of course. God bless. Well, Hunter, bro, first off, I love you and thank you. And I'm so glad that you made it to a live because, like, the shorts are cool and the full lengths are cool. The lives is where we all get to interact. And, like, we have such an amazing community here. The people that come to the lives all support each other. They love each other. We do our best to take care of each other. And it's where we can really interact. And it's my favorite part, bro. It's my favorite shit. Um, as far as separating yourself from family, like, I don't know what your motivations for separating yourself from family are, but I know that I have a lot of clients, a lot of sponsees who have had to do that, you know, that their thing was that people didn't respect their recovery or that their people were really toxic um, and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly what your personal motivations would be. Um, but I know that I respect anybody who finds it necessary to distance themselves from family for any reason, because it's a really difficult thing to do, especially during the holidays. Um, so hopefully you would have that extended family, the people that are like, you know, we can be born with family, but we can kind of find families of our own. You know what I'm saying? And it could be one person. It could be two people. It doesn't matter how many people you are, you have in your little tribe, bro. You know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, this entire community that we have here is my family. Each and every one of you guys, you're my brothers, you're my sisters, you're, you're my little bros, you're my, you know, um, but I would find some people that you can commune with so that you're not completely alone on the holidays. You know what I'm saying? And even if it's just a pet, bro, like I know that I spent a lot of time alone with my, my service animal for a lot of years. And, uh, that, that little dog got me through that little dog kept me alive through a lot of stuff, man. But Hunter, I love you. And, and I hope you have good holidays, man. And um, keep keep coming to the lives and hanging out, bro. We, we love you here. And uh, you know what I'm saying? You'll meet some people in here who are going to support you, who are going to vibe with you. And, uh, you know, best of luck through the holidays, man. Thank you so much. Um, Krim Sonda. Krim Sonda. Krim Sonda. Dude, everyone I love is dead. Uh, love while you can. Bro, I felt that so deeply, bro. I, I just got to tell you, I have so many different friends that are gone, bro. Like, back in Florida, like, I had one friend that was still alive. One friend out of everybody that I knew. I lived there for years, bro. I had one friend that was still alive. You know what I'm saying? And, and it broke my heart, bro. I come back here, and all my friends are either dead or in prison. I got, like, maybe a few friends that are still out here on the streets doing good. It's a nightmare. So yes, absolutely. Love your people wholeheartedly. Tell them, hang out with them, spend your time with them. I spent a lot of my life giving myself my time and my love to people that, that didn't matter. They didn't love me back. And I'll never make that mistake again, bro. But I love all of you. And I'm glad that I'm here with you right now. Um, Laura Lowe, uh, thank you so much for all the support, sister. You, I'm really, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. If you went to prison again, what would you do differently? Well, you know, like I would like to say that if I, like, if I went to prison today, uh, I would have to go in and I would have to tell a lot of people that like, I'm not on that gangbang in time. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it was the administration that put the, the, the gang jacket on me from the start. Cause I got this little tiny clover right here. I went in, I had that when I went in and they were like, Oh, you're a gang member. And they started putting me in with gang members and the people that I met, I love them. They're my homies. I got their backs. I love them 100%. And I believe that if I went back in and I told them I'm not on that gangbang in time, I don't think they would put me in a position where I needed to be. Um, but, you know, as far as if I went back now, um, I would just, I would, it would be the same thing that I was trying last time, but I would actually put my hole into it. You know what I'm saying? I would keep my head down. I would do my own thing. Uh, I would knock out anybody that disrespects me, but other than that, I wouldn't be looking for any type of extra drama because I would try to get into programs where I could do something to spend my time to better myself. You know what I'm saying? Because sitting in a cell is overrated, man. Big Bubba Official! 
Hey, JD, love your content. You uh, helped give me inspiration to keep off the whoop chicken. Felt that. Felt that. Uh, I've been off of it for a little over eight years clean. Bubba, hell yeah, dog. Eight years is amazing. Big love and respect, bro. I'm so glad that I can be some type of part of your recovery. Trev said, uh, Cass said, make I'm just a dude merch. Hey, love you, Cass. Hell yeah. Uh, Rooster Sturmit, again, thank you so much. Big love to you, brother. Tanya, what's up? How you doing? Happy to catch another live. Much love to you and Jackson. Zero two. He appreciates it. He's still stuck with the cone from getting neutered. So he appreciates all the love. Um, and everyone else here in the community too. Keep up the positivity. You hear that, everybody? Tanya sends love and positivity to all of us. Thank you, sister. We love you. Pikamon, what do you think of the NBA's handling of Josh Giddy? What did they do? I didn't keep following up on the story. What did they do with Josh Giddy? I'm not sure exactly what they did. Thank you for your question, Pika Man. I love you to death. Um, I'm just not caught up on it, so maybe you can educate me, and then I can tell you what I think. <laughs> I'm not sure if they, they did anything or not. Um, I know the last time that I looked at it, it was kind of all up in the thing. Yo, Abigail, we love you too. We love you too, Abigail. Jake, I'm so glad that these videos help you stay clean, homie. That would be my number one thing, is trying to help people stay clean or avoid that path altogether. You know what I'm saying? Like, just... So we can all be doing our best, bro. Because what's good for one of us is good for all of us. If we all live in our best life, that's the most amazing thing that can happen. Uh, Barry Dano, thank you so much, homie. Big love to you. Um, much respect, JD. Wondering how the recovery business is going since you moved across the country. Is each, each state a different license requirement? So it would be a different license requirement um, for my uh, uh, peer support recovery specialist. Uh, training out here for it's it just not a license it's called a certification and I'm working on getting that but I'm still working like I still my company is based out of Florida my clients are in Florida and um, I'm doing everything virtually um, but I'm, I'm working on getting my certification out here in the state of Oregon uh, and then things will be more fluid as far as being able to get clients here but I'm just packed on clients bro because I don't ever want to get to the point where I'm like letting money be my motivating factor in my recovery coaching. So like, I don't take off more clients than I can chew. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, every client is like, they're investing in their life. They're trying to save their life. And I wanna make sure that I have enough time so that I'm not spread thin, so that I can give them the time and attention that they actually genuinely deserve as a client. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I see Dave just got his message deleted by Trev. Dave, what did you do? I <laughs> love you, Trev. Yo, Rooster Starrett, thank you. Big love, homie. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, man. I really appreciate that, dog. You make me smile, Rooster. I appreciate you. Um, let's see. We got three flying monkeys in here plugging the Discord. Uh, a, lot of these, uh, a lot of these amazing mods are not just mods here. They're also mods on the Discord. Uh, Trev says, please no gang shit in the chat. Y'all, I felt it. I felt it. I don't know who was banging, but don't be banging. Trevor, get you, bro. Pew, pew. Um, let's see. Yo, we got Shane here. Shane, what's up? Cynthia? Cynthia! We love you, sister. So good to see you. How is everything going? What's up with the little? Y'all doing good? I hope y'all doing good, man. We love you. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see. Like I was saying, uh, we got the Discord and... Um, you know, we got all these homies are over on the Discord too. So if you guys need to talk to anybody and we not on a live, you can go over to the Discord. And if you if you need to talk to somebody, if you need support, if you just want to be able to like hang out, that's where we're doing it. That that's where it is, bro. Um Cynthia says, Abigail, it's wild in here today. Yo, sometimes on these randoms, it just it just wilds out. Yo, cool, man. Uh Taliana, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Big love. Uh, Samuel Pancake. Bro, now I want pancakes. I'm thinking about pancakes. Now I want waffles. Homie, love and respect. Combat vet and three years clean. And your videos helped me deal with the recent loss of my children's mother, stepdaughter, and single dad now of three boys. Samuel, first off, thank you for your service, man. Big, huge love for your service and your sacrifice. 
Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you have found recovery, bro. And I'm so glad that I can be any part of that, man. And thank you for being a part of mine every day by being here, bro. I love you, man. I can tell that you're doing everything that you can to be a good dad. And I can't tell you, you're like a hero threefold to me right now, brother. You're a hero threefold. You know what I'm saying? You served your country. Uh, you're in recovery and you're being an amazing dad. How incredible is that? I love you, dog. Tamro! Uh, making ramen noodle bowls. You want one? Shoot it! Shoot it! Give me the swole! Toss some of that squeeze cheese on there. Cut up some beef stick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, you got to slide the hot pickle. We do win the hot pickle. You know what I'm saying? We take the ID, cut up the hot pickle, slide it in there. It's as close as you're going to get as a vet to a vegetable when you're working on canteen. But damn, is that shit good. Mo Clam, what's up, man? How you doing? I've been feeling down recently, but you and your content never fails to get a smile out of me. Keep up the good work, man. Yo, Mo, I appreciate that, big dog. I appreciate you being here with us. I'm glad that like we can all be positive with each other and help each other through these days, man. It's been some grimace ass years, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, I don't know about y'all, but uh 2019 to, to now have been some of the hardest, but some of the most rewarding years. But like it's just been one thing after another, after another, after another. I'm tired of living through historical events, bro. I'm tired of historical events. Historical events can eat my whole ass, dog. I'm not into it. I'm not feeling them no more, dog. Like, we've had too many. It ain't right. Laura Lowe, can you legally own a gun? Ma'am, I cannot legally own a gun. Um, at this time, the Supreme Court is currently going back and forth on it, so a court ruled that it's unconstitutional to take away Second Amendment rights for nonviolent felons. Which I agree with. And I, I mean, I might be a little partial because I never had no violent felonies on my record. And that would, you know, give me my Second Amendment rights back. But like, like, honestly, bro, I think it's unconstitutional to take somebody's Second Amendment rights for crimes that have nothing to do with violence or guns. Um, but they're, they're back and forth. Right now, no, I'm not allowed to legally own guns. Might that change in the future? Err, we'll see. We'll see. Um, you know, and, and legally, um, I can't own guns, but I've owned hella illegally. Now I'm just a reformed citizen though. So what I did is I got real good. I worked at an ax throwing bar for a while and, um, I've gotten real good with an ax and honestly, I'm nasty. I can hit a moving target from a decent ass distance with an ax. So, you know, gun or not, I think we're going to be straight. I think we're going to be straight. Um, Trev said, please no gang-ish in the chat. Some of us are on STG watch list. Bro, facts, facts, FBI file for the rest of my life, dog. You already know. Um, NF, what's up? Do Irish prison gangs accept other races? Also, what was your favorite prison show? Yo, bro, we had non-Irish people in our gang because they were just cool as hell. It, it just was what it was. You know what I'm saying? They had the same, uh, they had the same, things that they had to do, you know what I'm saying? They still had to learn about Irish culture and Irish history on the same level, but we also encouraged them to learn about the history and culture of their own people. But you know what I'm saying? Like we got along with everybody. Uh, you know, like we weren't, we weren't one of those people that like, oh, you can't hang out with, you can't associate with, you know, none of that shit flew with us. We were gonna hang out with whoever we wanted to. There was a dude who was Egyptian, but he was also Irish, but he was more Irish than he was Egyptian, but he definitely wasn't white. And a bunch of the, the white supremacist dudes were like, you can't, you can't train your prospects with him. I'm like, stop me, bro. I'm bigger than you. What do you mean? Me and I'm a boxer, bro. He's an MMA fighter. Tell me one more time what I can't do, bro. Get bent. Stuff it in sideways and break it off inside yourself, homie. You know what I'm saying? Um, I... Now, there are Irish prison gangs out there, I'm sure, that like are run a little different. But the one that I'm a part of, I joined specifically because it was a non-racist gang. Like, I wasn't going to be a part of no racist shit, bro. I wasn't racist when I went in. I wasn't going to be racist for all the dudes on the prison yard. And I'm not going to be racist now. The shit don't make sense to me, bro. Harley, we're going to poop around it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> uh, Abu Jagal, thank you so much, homie. My family and I just got back from a beautiful religious trip that we took to Greece to celebrate my little brother's 30 days of no longer using. <sighs> Bro, everything you just said is beautiful. Are you kidding me? 
You went to Greece to celebrate his 30 days clean. He cried at the monastery because he realized he did it. Yo, big respect to your little brother and big respect to your family for supporting him on such a high level. That is incredible. I've always wanted to go to Greece. Man, I wish I could see it. You guys are beautiful. Hell yeah, congratulations to you and your whole family. Way to do it, man. That's great. Alex, what's up? Henry Kissinger, Henry Kissinger is dead? Today? I thought Henry Kissinger died a while ago. Is this new news? I love you, Alex. It's good to see you. Laura, on oh God, JD is speaking facts. I mean, like, there are times when I mess up, 100%, but I always come back and own it, Laura, is the thing. Um, you know, like, yeah, like last night, since I got this head cold, and I was, like, trying to pump out a video so that I'd have it for the morning, because, like, I always make a video at night, so I have one to post in the morning, because it takes me, like, two cups of coffee to warm up to the world and get my eyes adjusted and everything, and so the first thing I do is, is I, I wake up, I post the video. So I made a video last night and I was super tired and I don't feel good and I messed up. It was a, a, a video about the Young Thug trial, but I used Melly instead because there were two different trials, Melly and Young Thug that are going on right now, totally screwed up. So I had to come and completely admit it. Like I made a whole video going, not only did I put it in the, in the, uh, the pinned comment in the video that I messed up on, I made a video apologizing and just letting everybody know that I screwed up, man. I think it's really important to be able to admit when we're wrong, man. I'm wrong regularly and it's okay. So I speak facts as much as I can. And if, if, it, if it turns out that I'm wrong, I do everything that I can to make it up. Uh, Henry Kissinger died today. Whew. Well, rest in peace. Uh, I thought that happened a while ago. Uh, Papa Schniz, JD the Celtic Warrior. Love you, homie, hell yeah. Um, <coughs> Cactus, as a former addict that's been clean for four years, thanks for helping others get clean and stay on track. I love you, Cactus. Congratulations. Four years is amazing, homie. Um, let's see. Dick, solid name. Loving it. Uh, glad I can catch you live again. Thank you for continuing to spread positivity through this community. Love to see it. I love you, homie, and I'm glad that you're here. I really appreciate your presence, man. I'm glad that you're with us. Hell yeah. Uh, Tamro. I thought you said Irish Gypsy and immediately thought about Brad Pitt and Snatch. That movie's so good. I haven't seen that movie in so long, Tamro. Holy crap, I need to go back and watch that. Hell yeah. Um, man, Snatch is... Uh, you, know what? you know what the craziest thing in the world to me is last night? You know what my wife dead ass looked me in the eye and said? I said, yo, because we're watching... Um, <coughs> We watch a lot of Korean shows. I really like Korean TV. They put out some dark stuff that's just super well written, super well produced. Good night, cue ball. Hey. Um, and so we were watching this show and I'm like, this movie, it's called Believer. There's Believer 1 and Believer 2 and it's like heavy gang, heavy trapping out the building, lots of violence. Uh, and they're cooking all these crazy substances. And I'm like, man, this kind of reminds me of The Departed. And she's like, the what? Excuse me, ma'am. Did you just say, I'm talking about the movie The Parted. You know, da 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 She's like, is that Dropkick Murphy's? I'm like, yes, yes, in The Departed. She's like, yeah, I've never seen it. Leonardo DiCaprio, Marky Mark, and his funky bunch? Are you, are you kidding? She's dead ass, has never seen The Departed. So we have to do that. We have to do that. I can't believe that. I didn't think I knew an adult who had never seen The Departed. That's crazy to me. Uh, Samuel Pancake, ever think about a fan tattoo submit event? Favorite tattoo? A fan tattoo submit event. Where like somebody submits, like people submit tattoos and I get like the one that I like the most. I'm not sure what that is. Please enlighten me, Sam, because anytime somebody says tattoo, they got my full attention. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I actually have a, it's pronounced departed. Uh, I actually have a tattoo appointment coming up uh, next week. Jax is going, we're all getting, so for Christmas, me and Jax and Graves, my son Graves, he's on here, he has a YouTube channel, he streams a lot with video games. Um, I wanted to do like local, 
I wanted to support like a local business. So we're all going to get tattoos. Uh, Jax's tattoo, Christmas tattoo appointments tomorrow. Then uh, I'm on Tuesday. Graves is on Thursday. We're going to my local artist, the same dude who did the big ass eye on the back of my head. The same dude who did this way before I went to prison, man. His name's Reed. He's here in Eugene. He's absolutely incredible, dude. And like, I've known Reed since like, he did his first tattoos out of a trap house. Like he didn't use but we rented a room at this trap house to him so he could use it as a tattoo shop. Super dope. Super dope, dude. He's been super amazing forever. Can we see the eye? I would love to show you the eye. I don't think you can see it, homie. Uh, I think my hair has grown over. I got a haircut appointment uh, tomorrow, too. Um, but I don't think you can see it. Um, but my homie, uh, my homie Reed, I actually went to prison with his little brother. Yeah, I can see it now that you can't see it. You can't see it. It's hidden under the hair. Um, so look, I, I went to prison with his little brother and his little brother jumped into a gang and got in some trouble. And, uh, I, I basically, I saved the kid from getting stuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he was a really good dude. We were really good friends. Um, but, uh, he actually got murdered by the cops here just recently. Um, here in Eugene, man, it was a tragic thing, man. Rest in peace, Chase. Um, Luke Reather, how are tri pimps treated in prison? So uh, Luke, pimping and uh, pimping is actually a federal offense. So I never seen no pimps in state prison because that's going to be a fed thing, bro. So I, I never seen none. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not sure how that would go. I just don't know. Um, Alex, what do you think about the little boy who wore the Chiefs colors on his face and got accused of blackface? Has the media ever watched football? I think that's the stupidest thing, bro. I think it's the stupidest thing. They're a football team. He he did his face, the colors of the football team. He wore the jersey. He wore the whole regalia. He was just being proud of his team, bro. The internet needs to shut the f up about that. Leave kids alone, weirdos, bro. Keep them out of your dumbass shit, bro. Like... The internet always wants to get involved in some dumbass shit. Leave kids out of it, man. Let kids be kids for sake, man. You guys like how I'm doing the fts instead of the fts. Uh, I, it's all I can do. I, if you drop heavy F-bombs, YouTube's going to bury you and you won't get any views anymore. Uh, David Allen Troll, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, GD, fun fact. In Mexico, anyone can prove, uh, anyone can prove they're Irish. They'll give them a free round of beers. Really? My friend. Well, you know, the, the Irish and the Mexicans have a long-standing history of helping each other. Um, you know, the Battle de Patrico was, was one major incident where um, a bunch of Irish soldiers that were fighting for the U.S. Army, they saw how the, the U.S. Army was killing Mexican women and children, and they were like, no, no. And they started fighting with the Mexican forces against the Americans to save the women and children's lives, man. So we've been friends a long time, bro. And on that prison yard, I hung tough with my essays, bro. I loved a lot of them dudes, man. New life with Woody. What's up, bro? How you doing? What's up, big guy? Hope all is well. I'm about to drop a video that's a must watch. It's going to shock YouTube. Much love, homie. And keep being you. Much love. Yo, I love you, big dog. And I'm going to be watching for that video. Can you give us a teaser? Can you tell us what it's about? Can I plug it on the live? Yo, and also, if you guys aren't following New Life with Woody, bro, New Life with Woody is fire, bro. He's a good-ass dude. Uh, you know, he's a good friend of me and, uh, you know, best friends with Jay Williams. Let's live life. Big respect to both those dudes, man. Good people. Samuel Pancake, yes, people submit their tattoos uh, and sh uh, you show off your faves. I'm down to do it. I'm down to do it. Let's do it. Let's all show our tattoos. We'll make. I'll make videos about it. It'll be dope as hell, man. Everybody submit your tattoos. Laura Lowe, you should try to watch Explore With Us, uh, Explore With U.S.'s Murder Case videos. They are really good. Explore With U.S.'s Murder Case videos. I really want to. I'm into anything true crime, anything murder related. I'm really into. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I really appreciate you, Laura Lowe. Hell yeah. Um... Original owner 777. I'm waiting for my stepdaughter to design my next tattoo. It will be a heart which is made of the non-binary flag 
with a bumblebee on top of her nickname. Hell yeah, that's dope. Big love and respect to you, and big love and respect to your stepdaughter for designing you a dope ass tattoo. That's what's up. Family, keep it family. Uh, Dr. Easy Bake, yo JD, do you know a recovery coach? I got a corn addiction I want to beat, but I don't know where to start. Any advice? Love your content, by the way. Uh, Dr. Easy Bake, um, so look, um, I'm not sure exactly where you're located. If you want one that's going to be virtual or if you want one that's going to be close to you, bro, what, what area are you in? If you don't, if you're comfortable shouting that out so that I can better try to refer you to somebody who can help you like, bro, I know a lot of people like, and, and, and like, it's embarrassing maybe at some point to, to admit what that addiction is, bro. But I know a lot of people who really have ruined their lives. With, with videos, ruin relationships, ruin their lives. It's a serious thing. It really is. It's the same as anything else, bro. It's the same as substances. It's the same as alcohol. It's the same as gambling. It's the same as sex addiction. It's all working right up here in your brain, in the limbic center, uh, limbic system. It's releasing dopamine and oxytocin to you. And so it makes it, it makes it really difficult to stop. So I'm 100% with you. Uh, Samuel Pancake, my dog says, fun fact, it's illegal to get fish drunk in Ohio. You can't get fish drunk? What about the fish? Why? That's crazy. Derek N., do I consider Suboxone being sober? I consider anything that's keeping... Uh, look, here's the thing. Is, is here, we support MAT treatment. We support all forms of recovery. All pathways are valid. Here's what I would say. Is that if you are on any type of MAT treatment, it needs to be through a doctor. If you are going through a doctor and you are legitimately following your doctor's instructions and using your medication as directed by a medical professional, 100%, I 100% consider that sober. You know what? I 100% consider uh, cannabis or 420 sober sober uh, as long as they're doing it in a way that's responsible. Um, if you're in a state where it's illegal, get it through a doctor. You know what I'm saying? If you need to get it uh, a, a medical card for it. You know what I'm saying? But I respect all forms of recovery. Full stop. Full stop. Um, Alex, how are people who do abortions after the week limit treated in prison? Are they considered baby killers? Never seen that, bro. I've never seen that. But I do not. Like, look, man, like that was not something that was like people were really getting hammed up for. Um, so I've, I've just never seen it, bro. I've never seen it. I, I don't know if that's a thing that they're getting busted for now. I would assume since so many states have made it so hard for women to receive proper health care when they have issues, that it's probably starting to happen, but I never saw it, bro. Tommy B, uh, JD, love you, bro. Hey, Tommy, I love you too, man. Big love to you. Um, whoa, Tommy B did the double. Thank you so much, bro. Big love and respect. Um, sorry to drop in randomly, having a long day. You can always drop in, homie. It's, you're always welcome, man. If we do it alive, you part of the family. We'll save a seat right here for you. Um, could I please bug you for a laugh? Maybe just some quick Officer Stevens improv? Officer Stevens is off! It's not his day to work! Why are you bothering him? I can't with these people. Oh my God, I should have been a jizz mopper. Is the porn store still hiring? God damn, bro. Almost had a heart attack for you, Tommy, because you're my dog and I love you. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm going to be losing my voice. Yo, Lily Case, what's good, Bubba? Uh, Bad Bob Revealed. So, yo, everybody, New Life with Woody has a video coming out with Bad Bob Revealed. And I guarantee you, if New Life with Woody is putting it out, it's going to be a banger, bro. So, everybody go check that out. Um, Trev. Matt is sober, 420 maintenance is sober, harm reduction is love. Big ups, big ups. Um, LeBon Dev, are you off house arrest? Most certainly am. I got off at the end of January, homie. Hell yeah. Um, Kevin Burger King says so hard for women to receive health care. Lol, this dude is so cringe. Of course, it's a Kevin saying that. <laughs> we really appreciate your opinion on women's health care, Kevin. Please keep coming back. You're, you're looking real good here, buddy. Um, Michael Lee, what's up from Oregon? All the way out there to Mississippi. The cat, I love you, sis. John Tyler, I W the nipple king. 
I love your videos. They are majestic nipples, aren't they? Love you, dog. Appreciate you, man. Um, Papa Schniz, you made me laugh so hard I scared my dog. Her name is Athena and is retired army. Yo, big love and respect to your dog and you, but hell yeah, man, that's dope. Um, Alex, let's say I want to worship in prison, but I don't want to breathe toddler fondler air. Do some gangs have worship in the chow hall or something? No, the only time that you're going to be able to like, I mean, like if, so if you want to have like some worship time with your homies, you could probably do it on the yard. Um, but like, you don't get like access to the chow hall. I mean, you might in a minimum or something, but, um, you know, religious services are held when religious services are held, where religious services are held. If you want to, um, you know, if you want to do, uh, like, uh, out on the yard or something like that, where you do a Bible study or, you know, even if you want to sing or something, the CEOs probably wouldn't mess with you, but religious services are held where they're held, when they're held specifically. Um, and the, the administration doesn't care that it's a bunch of baby uh, bandits, bro. Uh, the administration loves them baby bandits. They're their bread and butter. Um, let's see. Uh, what is going on here? Leland, are you getting in trouble? Are you getting in trouble with the mods, Leland? What's going down, Boba? Um, planning on getting... Ethan the Pokemon Mastur. Planning on getting my brother and his fiance, who are guardians of the children, the uh, MPAA combos for Christmas. Yo, big love and respect. Hell yeah, that makes me happy. Disengage! Get out of that inmate! Um, Trev just said, no fans, just family. Oh, Julia, I see what he's talking about. Hi, Julia Simpson. It's good to have you here. We appreciate you. Um, she said, new fan here. Love your stuff. You have so much personality and care about people. You inspire me to do good. Trev said it. We don't have fans here. I'm, I'm just a dude and I love you guys. It's all mutual and, and it can't be, it can't be, uh, fans if it's mutual. It's all love and respect. Um, I have friends and I have family. I don't have fans. Uh, so if you're comfortable being friends, hi friend. If you want to be family, welcome to the family. We love you here. 100%. Um, what year were you in SCI? Like 2009 and then 2010, I think. No, I think I was in like, cause I went from SCI and then I went to Mill Creek and then they shot me back to SCI for like my last few weeks because I was under investigation for attempting to incite a riot at Mill Creek. But it was the dumbest thing ever. The dumbest thing ever. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm glad I shut up about my Star Wars question now. Ominous. Are we talking about Star Wars? I like Star Wars. What are we talking about, dog? Um... Do, 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 do. Artie, how do race wars work in prison? Do you have to say bye 75% uh, or more Italian to be an Italian gang? I don't know how Italian gangs run, bro. I never saw an Italian gang, like a strictly Italian gang in prison. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we had black gangs. We had white gangs. Uh, we had Mexican gangs. Um, we had the natives and some of them were a gang, but for the most part, the natives all got each other's backs all the time. Um, and we had an Irish gang. Um, and then we had gangs that were like mixed. Um, so I don't think there was like a strictly Italian gang in the prison system I was in. I'm not saying they don't exist. They probably do. They weren't where I was at. Um, let's see. Uh, American Argonaut. Hey, JD, do you remember a little old lady prison guard named Donna Dolphus out at Snake River? She's a customer of mine, and I showed her your video yesterday. She speaks highly of you. I think that I was on her unit on, like, two side, or maybe it was three side. I don't remember exactly which. Um, and I vaguely remember her. I don't know. I know that we had a little old lady, but I don't know the name. I'm really bad with names. And I didn't really learn names of uh, COs out there, 
But I know that we had a little old lady, uh, and I forget whether it was on two side or three side on the unit that I was on. I think that it was on three side when I was on um, LOP. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure. But if she knows me, please give her my respects. Uh, and I'm glad that uh, she has a good memory of me because I was in a knucklehead period at that point in time. Um, and don't tell her I don't remember who she is. Just pretend that I did. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, oh, here's a good question. Painful youths. Uh, hey, I saw this comment on one of your videos. I'm not sure if you have answered, but what happens to people that pretend to be veterans in prison? Never saw anyone in prison that was there uh, for stolen valor. And I never saw anyone that, um, that was in prison that was uh, pretending that they were a veteran. What I did see was people that were pretending they had AIDS. Cynthia, I see you. I love that. I appreciate you. Um, uh, let's see. I, I saw dudes that were pretending they had AIDS because they were trying not to get beat up. And eventually it came out because these dudes were not going to their med line. Uh, and if you got HIV in there, they're sending you to Medline to get your meds like every single day. And these dudes were not going to Medline. And we figured out like, they're just trying to not get beat up, aren't they? They just don't want to fight. Um, so, you know, it ended up poorly for them. I still don't think anybody like straight up stuck them or anything after that because they were still worried. There was still the question. It was still a sketchy question. Um, but I've never seen people, um, in here who were, uh, who, who were pretending to be veterans. Trev, who keeps throwing up the gang stuff? Who keeps throwing up the gang stuff, Trev? Yo, like, you guys, do me a favor, man. Like, I really, really 100% am asking you to please respect the mods. If the mods say something isn't cool, please respect them. Because we'll ban you. Like, these mods are here giving their time, donating, being a part of this community. And, and if they have to ask you more than once or twice, bro, I'm just telling them to just ban you. Just block you. Like, it's, it's not cool. Um, every troll is bringing what up now? Gang stuff? Um, like, y'all, just, just be respectful to the mods. Because if you're not, you're not going to be here. Um... We'll, we'll just all the way just block you, bro. Like, if you want to fuck with me, go ahead. That's cool. Do not fuck with my mods. My mods are my people. They ain't got to be in here on no dumb shit with you. Uh, and, and I will not tolerate disrespect to them. Uh, Austin Esslinger. So I got a buddy getting out soon after almost 10 year bid. Do you have any advice helping him adjust to the outside world? Look, man. Every single person that I've seen who's gotten out of prison and they were successful, they immediately got right into a routine. Like you're very regimented and very routine in prison. So if you get out and you don't stick to a really solid routine, uh, you'll feel like you're just floating out in space. You'll feel lost. You won't really know what to do with yourself. Um, that type of a thing. So if, if you get out and you stick with a regimented routine, you're much more likely to succeed. Um, so that's my advice to everybody who gets out of prison. Immediate, like, do not go out. Here's another thing. Don't go out like you're trying to make up for the time that you lost. That time is gone. You know what I'm saying? If you think you're going to get out, you're going to party hard. You're going to get it out of your system. Most people don't make it back from that making it up party time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Most people that get out of prison, they're like, oh, I missed years. Like, I, I haven't piped nothing down. I've been locked up. I really want to get out, party, get it out of my system, and then I'm going to start doing the right thing. Just don't, bro. Don't. Don't. Just get in your routine. Work hard. The partying can come. You're already so far behind in real life stuff. Pursue that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I get it. Uh, if a dude has spent 10 years in prison... He's definitely going to want to pipe, but tell him to be careful, bro, because a lot of the, a lot of the people that are going to be attracted to him because he just got out of doing 10 years in prison are going to be the people that aren't going to be good for him. And they could lead him on a path that could take him back to prison. And that's what we don't want to see for the homie. We want him out here living the real life with us. Sorry, that sounded a little preachy, but uh, I was, um, I'm really passionate about giving people the best opportunity when they get out of prison they possibly can because the recidivism rate, which is the rate at which people go back to prison once they get out, 
is so high and I want to see everybody succeed. Uh, the real, real world, I am 100% a Little Peep fan. Always and forever, rest in peace, Gus. Mark and the Beast, people pretend to have AIDS in there to keep big country off their back. They might be Honakis. And 100%, bro, like, I guarantee you there's people who have gone in there and they've been like, oh, God, somebody's going to take my trap door. Uh, just so you know, guys, I, I have the AIDS. Um, it just makes sense because, you know, ain't nobody, ain't nobody strapped down. Ain't nobody got no condoms. Ain't no condoms in prison. So, you know, if somebody's worried for their booty hole, they might throw it out there like that. I have a, a scorching case of the ass herpes. You know what I'm saying? Just keep people up out of them. Shoot, get it out of me. It worked. It worked. Um, Trev says, don't be stuck in the past. 100%. Tyler Jack, what's up, dog? How you doing? Cat, smash that, bu that like button if you dislike chomos. I love you so much, Cat. Hell yeah. Uh, Nathan Hill says, on God, real, real world, what's up, homie? Smashing the button. Hell yeah, I appreciate you, my dude. Um, Brian S., what's up to you, brother? Uh, Victoria said, did you ever get in contact with Gary I Can Sparkman? No, I don't know who that is, Victoria. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Um, Sammy, I am on the autism spectrum, and I need that rigid routine or my day is hard. 100%. 100%. Even today. You know, in recovery, not on substances, uh, you know, not incarcerated for a while. I thrive under routine and it's good for me. I get more done. Living on a routine and a regiment is very good for, for most people. You know what I'm saying? I still thrive under chaos, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it's routine that I really thrive under the most. Um, Lancer, you ever taken ZMA before sleeping? Yeah, zilk, uh, zinc, magnesium, B6 thing that makes you have vivid dreams. I absolutely have. I hate my dreams, bro. I hate my dreams. Like, I ran from my dreams like Freddy Krueger was after me for a long time. I, I, I did bad things to not sleep because I had really terrible dreams. And now when I have dreams, they're not like... So I had like night terrors, bro. Like, like I would feel like I was awake and they were super vivid and super terrifying. And I don't have that as much anymore, but I, when I have dreams, they're generally really unsettling. If not straight up bad dreams, they're really unsettling. So I don't want to do nothing that's going to make my dreams more vivid, homeboy. Um, let's see. David Allen Troll. Hey, JD, I love the channel and message. Hope all is well. Do you know Skeeter Gene? And would you collaborate with them? Scare some, the weirdos on here. Yo, look, man. Uh, David, first off, love you. Uh, secondly, yo, Skeeter Gene does some amazing work. And I would love to work with Skeet, bro. I would love to work with Skeet. That would be cool as hell. I don't think Skeet knows that I exist. But, you know, if I ever get uh, in contact with him, I would 100% want to collab with him on what he does. Um... Lancer, I took ZMA. I wonder if I'll trip out in my sleep. Let me know, bro. Let me know. I just, uh, you know, I took ZMAs for a little bit during the day. I took them early in the morning, trying not to have uh, the vivid dream part of it. But um, I, I wanted to just fortify myself as far as, uh, you know, vitamin zinc, zinc and magnesium are really good for you. So I took them for a while. Let me know how that goes. I didn't take them before bed. Um, Alex, is there any way to ask you questions without super chatting? This is getting a little much on the wallet, uh, but I'm so curious about you that I can't stop. You're more than welcome to drop them in the chat, bro. I get to things in the chat as much as I possibly can in between the super chats, but people who do super chats are always going to be the priority because if somebody's paying to ask me a question, I'm going to prioritize them 100%. But like, like right now, uh, there's no super chats on the board. So I'm getting right into questions from people who aren't super chats. Um, like C. Dizzy, every time I was locked up before recovery, I would have the most intense dreams. My first week when I'd be detoxing inevitably. Yo, like, and when I was locked up, my dreams were completely different, C. Dizzy. My dreams when I was in prison, I always dreamed that I was out. You know what I'm saying? I always dreamed, like, that I had some escape way, and I had, like, escape dreams. It was wild, bro. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, dreams in prison are really weird. Now I'm on the outs and I have dreams sometimes that I'm back in prison. It's super crazy. Um, uh, Mark of the Beast says, also on the spectrum here, routine can be helpful, but it can make me a shut-in if I get too stuck in it. 
And that is that is the other end of that spectrum too, bro. That is the other end of that spectrum because like I I really don't leave the house much, so I get it. I feel you, bro. Um, let's see. Sammy, what is IOP? IOP is uh, IOP is intense outpatient. So it's like a higher level of outpatient treatment. Um, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have like you're gonna have uh, some some. OP, which is just outpatient. You're going to have aftercare, which is a really low form of, of outpatient treatment. But IOP is the intense. That's where you're going like, you know, the, the place that I worked at, you were going like for three hours, three times a week. That's what the IOP was where I was at. Thomas is saying the same thing. Three hours, three times a week. And different programs can vary as to how intense their IOP is. But where I was at, it was three hours, three, day, three days a week. Tommy B, uh, thank you so much, homie. POV, Honaki somehow managed to pay off the cons and managed to get to the rec room. Stevens, here's the Barney theme. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Well, hey, you guys, I love you. I'm starting to lose my voice. I think it's time to kick back and drink some tea. Uh, Real Real World said the same thing. I'm going to go. I love you guys, man. Have a great night. Thank you for riding out with me. And I'm going to see you guys on Sunday night for Sunday Night Live for sure. Be good and be blessed. I love each and every one of you.